Telephone The Invention and Working of Telephone Long before the telephone was invented, people knew that sound could travel along a wire. Children could do it with two tin cans and some string. In the second half of the 20th century, many individuals searched for a better way to transmit speech. In 1876, scientist Alexander Graham Bell, working on the invention of the telephone in the U.S., became the first person to receive a patent for it. The Scotsman Alexander Graham Bell made a breakthrough in 1876 by converting sound into an electric current that could be sent along wires. In 1878, in the UK, Queen Victoria was given a demonstration of the telephone by Bell on the Isle of Wight. Bell called Southampton and London in the UK. The Queen liked the telephone so much that she wanted to buy it. Bell's telephone was given a beautiful wooden case for the royal demonstration. The first words ever spoken on a telephone by Graham Bell, Mr. Watson, come here, I want you. How Telephone Works The working of a simple telephone is based on the principle of Faraday's induced current. It consists of coil of fine insulated wire wound around the poles of a permanent horseshoe magnet. A soft iron disc called diaphragm is held near the end of such a magnet. The magnetic lines of force crowd in this disc. When the disc is thrown into vibrations by human voice, the number of lines of force passing through, the coil changes and a fluctuating current is induced. At the receiving end the terminals of the coil wound over the poles of another horseshoe magnet with the diaphragm in front will produce similar vibrations in the magnetic field with the result that the disc in front vibrates exactly as does the disc at the transmitting end and the sound is faithfully reproduced. The Telephone Exchange Early telephones came in pairs and connected only with each other. It needed the invention of a central exchange to which all local telephones were connected, to allow any person to call any other. Automatic Telephone Exchange Phone This 1905 phone was designed for use with an automatic exchange, which first appeared in 1889. The earliest telephones had two sets joined by a single cord, connecting just two places. Now, phones are wireless and we can talk to anyone anywhere in the world. We can now even see the person we are talking to, thanks to smartphones and phone apps such as Apple's FaceTime. The candlestick phone was the first stand-up telephone and one of the earliest models of telephone to be mass-produced. It featured a mouthpiece, transmitter, at the top of the stand, and an earphone, receiver, that was held to the ear by the user during a call. Similar, to those seen on the Western Electric Candlestick, right? This type of phone lasted well into the 1920s. Automatic exchanges had allowed people to call each other directly since 1892, but the rotary dial, introduced in about 1905, made the process simpler. Later, handsets became popular, which combined the rotary dial with a handset containing both the transmitter and receiver in the same unit. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and activate the bell icon to not miss any new videos.